What's up ladies and gentlemen, Universal Mastery. Welcome back to my channel. What I do here is I break down the occult sciences, if you don't already know, and I break them down to a very practical level so that you can use them and apply them in your day-to-day -day life and get real, actual results with things that I am teaching simply by just applying your awareness and observing some of the things that I am uh, teaching on my channel, okay? Uh, without further ado, let me give you a little bit of an understanding of who I am just so that you know who you're getting this information from. My name is Jeremiah Schwartz. I am a professional occultist. I am fully initiated in the entire Kabbalistic tree. I'm studying when it comes to the 22 major arcana in regards to the archetypal paths of initiation. And I'm studying when it comes to planetary energies connected to astrology. Okay? What? is the topic of our video today. So this is a topic that I'm sure a lot of people want to know about. This is something that I'm very studied in, something that I love to talk about as well. And I do break down in pretty good depth on my Patreon as well. Um, so this is a continuation on Kabbalah teachings. Specifically, what we're going to be talking about in this video is what are the tunnels of Set. Okay? So... If you want to know what the tunnels of Set are, which have been mentioned uh, in a lot of depth by Kenneth Grant, uh, if you've ever read the book The Night Side of Eden by Kenneth Grant, uh, that's one place that you'll, you'll hear about it. Kenneth Grant was a high-level initiate within the Golden Dawn and then moved into the OTO to uh, basically be the head of the OTO. Uh, basically, Kenneth Grant was Aleister Crowley's um, apprentice. Okay. So if you want to know a little bit more about the tunnels of set, which are known to the higher level occultists within the occult field, then definitely stay tuned for this video. Okay. So my intention is to make this a very practical video, a very practical understanding of what the tunnels of sets are, okay? So what I recommend is if you haven't watched the video that I have on my channel yet called What is Kabbalah, then I would recommend watching that video first because that's going to be the first place to start to get a general idea of what this Kabbalistic tree is and how it functions, okay? Because what I talk about on that first video is the front of the Sephirothic tree, okay? So in today's video, we're not going to be talking about the front side. We're going to be talking about the back side. So what is the back side? The back side is called the tunnels of set, okay? First thing that I want to make clear is that there are a lot of occult uh, practitioners occult initiates, a lot of adepts that have no idea about the tunnels of set. Okay, there are so many. It's actually unfortunate. Like it's it's really strange how many occultists do not know about the tunnels of set. And one of the main reasons is because uh, the tunnels of set is demonic in nature. It's a universe B and it's not talked about for a very intentional reason. Uh, because it is used for psychic warfare um, very often. But the tunnels of set lies behind the Sephiroth. Okay, so this is the backside of the Sephiroth. Okay, so basically what the tunnels of set are is a shadow reflection of what the Sephiroth tree is. So as you can see here, you have Malkuth, Yasod, Ho, Nedzak, Tifereth, Gavura, Chesed, then you have Bina, Chokma, and Kether, ruled by the planets of Earth, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Sun, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Pluto, and then the hidden sphere Uranus. So the tunnels of Set is literally going to be the same exact structure as this tree, except you're going to get the more subjective, the more dark matter energy shadow side of these spheres, okay? Not only of the spheres, 
but as well as the archetypal pathways that run in between the spheres. So exa for example, you have the world here, you have judgment here, you have the moon, star, sun, tower, devil, death, hermit, justice, hangman, wheel of fortune, emperor, lovers, chariot, hierophant, the empress, magician, and fool. Okay? Now that would be on the front side of the Sephiroth. When you come into the back side, into the tunnels of Set, these tunnels change their names. Okay? So if you want to know a little bit more about the tunnels, then I definitely do recommend getting the book. The Night Side of Eden by Kenneth Grant. You can literally find it free in a PDF format if you search it on Safari or Google. Okay, and if you scroll down, if you or if you scroll down or flip to the very end pages of that book, you're going to see an entire section that labels off all of these 22 tunnels of Set, and it gives their corresponding names in unison. So, for example, on the front side of this tree, we have the path that connects. Crown, which is Kether to Wisdom, Chokma, and on the front side, this is the archetype of the Fool. In the Tunnels of Set, this is no longer the archetype of the Fool, but this is now called Amproteus, which is a demonic entity that is the tunnel itself, that basically is the tunnel itself. Um, and it comes with, an, with a completely different energetic experience than as if you were an initiate going through the front side of this initiatory tree, okay? So within the tunnels of Set, you are in the realm of dark matter energy entities, spirits, and beings that are programmed to try to uh, remove things from you. And a lot of them are programmed to remove uh, beneficial things from you. Meaning these tunnels can be very detrimental to somebody and their health, okay? Whether that's mental, emotional, physical, or spiritual health. Um, but if you're somebody who's aware of these tunnels and intentionally walks into them with the foundation of wanting to gain the power from them, because there is power within these uh, dark matter energy tunnels to gain, there is a lot of power. If you're that kind of person, which is a black brother or sister, then you can gain a lot of power from these different tunnels. So as an initiate going through the tunnels of set, yes, you are going to be energetically, spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, psychologically afflicted by the tunnels and by the demonic forces in the tunnels, but eventually you will attune yourself to that dark matter energy and then gain its power. Okay, and this is a real system. This is behind the Sephiroth, and as the highest level initiates of this entire multiverse Kabbalistic tree within all of its uh, different facets, we do travel through the tunnels of Set and we utilize the tunnels of Set. This is like one of the most profound areas of this Kabbalistic tree to use and carry out psychic warfare. Okay, and also gain immunity from psychic warfare as well. So once again, if you want to know about every single tunnel of set and you want to study it in more depth, then definitely look into getting the book The Night Side of Eden by Kenneth Grant and go to the end of the book or the scroll to the bottom of the screen if you have it on your phone or whatever. Um, so yeah, literally that is the tunnels of set. Now to get into the tunnels of set, you have to enter into the gate of death that is on the front side of the Sephirothic tree. So as human beings, we're all born, our soul and our spirit is born into Malkuth, which is the physical plane in the physical multiverse. And then what happens is the spirit will initiate through this tree to evolve, okay? Uh, basically attuning itself to all these different planetary energies and all the different archetypes and zodiacs associated with it. Now, there comes a point in your evolution where you approach the abyss, and there is a hidden 11th sphere within the abyss 
known as DAP, which represents knowledge and is ruled by the planetary energy of Uranus. So whether you are an initiate, a black brother or sister, somebody who actively is willing to walk into this gateway, or whether you're somebody who doesn't even know about this Kabbalistic tree and is afflicted through psychic warfare to get sucked into this gateway, uh, either way, this is a gateway. And what the goal is to get into the tunnels of set is you have to enter into this gateway, death, which is represented by death. There literally has to be some form of death energy and death present to get into death. Okay? So if you take a look at, and this, this video is not meant for this, but if you take a look at most of the movie industry, music industry, they're using the same Kabbalistic technology to open up this gate of death to then suck you into it. Now, the, the industries are doing this to you without your awareness, okay? Meaning, you can easily get sucked into death and placed within the tunnels of said without you even knowing it. I'm going to say that again. You can get sucked into death within the abyss by observing rituals that take you through this Kabbalistic tree. Why do you think all of Cardi B's music videos, all of Katy Perry's, Taylor Swift's, Miley Cyrus's, all of these artists have music videos wearing these colors? We have teal, purple, orange, green, yellow, red, blue. It's because they're doing a ritual on you to pull you into death the hidden gateway to get you into the tunnels of set. Okay. So whether it's happening to you without your awareness, or if it is happening with your awareness, meaning you're wanting to get into death, there needs to be death present and your spirit needs to either learn how to travel up the tree to get to, to death, or you need to learn how to pull death down death energy down to the bottom of the tree and then enter into it, which can also happen. Now, obviously this is more advanced information and this video is meant to be simple. So I'm just basically trying to clarify how you get into the tunnels of set. Okay. So the gateway for the tunnels of set is in this hidden 11th sphere. Okay. So you will enter into that gate and then you will pop out on the back of this tree. So when you pop out on the back of the tree, you're either going to pop out up here in the backside of Kether, or you're going to pop down, down here in the center of Tifereth. Okay. So from that point, you can start working through the tunnels of set, depending on where you are. Uh, if you are an initiate, a black brother or sister, somebody who's intentionally working with dark matter energy to increase your power. Now, if you unintentionally got sucked in to the tunnels of set, then you're probably going to get pulled down to here, to the center of the tunnels of set, the shadow aspect of Tifereth, and then these tunnels are going to start afflicting you. So you're not going to understand what's happening and why your life is going to shit, but you're going to be afflicted by all these demonic entities, and it's going to slowly pull you farther down the tree. It's going to lower your vibration, lower your frequency because they're sucking you dry. And then it will pull you to your soul. And then a sexual act, a perverted sexual act will take place, whether it's through your observation, from watching uh, porn sites, from actually having the experience in real life. It's going to be influenced by the Scarlet Woman or Lilith, something in that nature. And then through your sowed, it can pop you down into the clebothic tree. And this is where your soul gets shelled and you get separated. Your spirit and your soul get separated away from your body. Okay? So your soul will get shelled down here and your spirit will remain in Malkuth. Okay? So the backside of the Sephirothic tree is the tunnels of set. And the tunnels of set for black brothers or black sisters is a high level form of occult initiation. It is very challenging to go through. You are still going to get afflicted by the energies, but it's meant to be an initiation. It's meant to be challenging and it's meant for you to have the awareness of it 
and the you know the challenges that come behind it so that when you go through it you have the warrior spirit the impeccability and the ruthlessness to complete it and then gain the energetic power from the tunnels okay and you'll also learn about what powers come with these tunnels from the book by Kenneth Grant he talks about the kalas that are associated with the tunnels okay um, so that's exactly how this tree functions. This is the tunnels of set. Okay. So now you have some knowledge on what the tunnels of set are. They are not connected between the clip off spheres. The clip off is this tree right here. And the next video I will be making, will be explaining the clip tree in its totality. So definitely make sure you stay tuned for that. But right now what I have explained on my channel is the Sephiroth being the front side of the tree of life. And now we've just talked about the back side of this, which is the tunnels of set, which is literally the shadow aspects of the front side. Okay. So I'm going to leave it there. I think that's simple enough. Enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, definitely make sure you hit the thumbs up. Okay. It helps my channel. I like to see thumbs up. So go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Also make sure you hit that notification bell down there because I post videos as often as I can. And make sure you hit the subscribe button also right next to that notification bell because if you're not subscribed and you like this content, if you feel like you're getting value, then definitely make sure you're subscribing to my channel. Okay, there's no reason to not be subscribed. So definitely make sure, go ahead and check to see if you've subscribed. Okay, go do that. All right. So next thing I want to say is if you want to, you can share this link to any family or friends or your social medias that are interested in this type of information. So if you know anybody that this could potentially give value to, then definitely feel free to share it with anybody. Okay. Copy the link and share it. Spread this like wildfire. Okay. Let's get this information out there straight up. Okay. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm going to say to that. If you would like to gain access to an entire vault of exclusive content, then definitely consider joining my Patreon, okay? Where you can find the Patreon link is the first link that is within my YouTube descriptions. It literally says Patreon right next to it. Um, so on my Patreon, there are four tiers. The first tier is just support. You don't gain access to anything exclusive. You just show me that you support my channel, okay? And that's literally only a dollar a month, so that's nothing. Now, at the second tier, this is where you gain access to an entire vault of exclusive content that ranges from actual cult practices that I teach and demonstrate on camera, ranges from Kabbalistic teachings on all the spheres on the Tree of Life and the Klebothic spheres, okay? Very valuable information. And you gain access to all of my live streams that I'm doing on YouTube that are not publicly uploaded to my YouTube channel. Rather, they're publicly uploaded to my Patreon members that are tier two and up. So this is all stuff you gain for tier two and that literally only costs $9.95 a month, okay? So that's tier two. Now at tier three, you are gaining access to my magic training course. This is an, this is an entire course that I've recorded that is taking you through the fundamental steps of beginning your occult practices in a very strategic and profound way. So I'm literally teaching you and showing you exactly what you need to have in regards to your tools. I'm teaching you and showing you how to link energetically to those tools so that they actually mean something to you, uh, which is what a lot of people don't do. They, they forget they have to link to their tools or else they mean nothing. Um, and then I show you how to set them up and then we go into necromancy, angel magic, demon magic, and then casting a low magic spell. Very, very valuable information. Okay. If you are somebody that is wanting to get into the occult practices and you don't know where to start, this is where you start. Become a tier three and start the magic training course. Okay. So that's what I'm going to say to that magic training course is $25 a month. Okay. And with the value that's on there, that is absolutely nothing because that can literally change your entire life. Okay. Now the last tier is tier four, and this is going to be my top tier and literally my most popular tier that I have on my YouTube channel because 
on the 29th of every month for the tier four members, I perform a specific and strategic ritual for them that literally permanently will change your energy field. So what I do is I change your energetic structure to not be universe A dominant, where you're always pushing energy out into chaos and losing energy, losing life, but rather reversing it and shifting your energetic structure to be more universe B dominant, where you're receiving and pulling in more energy, thus increasing your evolutionary potential, okay, and your power. So this is what I call the vampire service because I'm literally changing you into an energetic vampire that can receive energy from anything, okay? And, you know, I've been doing this service for about, I want to say six months right now. So I've done six services so far and there have been some very profound, permanent results from it, okay? That's all I'm going to say. If you want to take advantage of that, definitely join as a top tier member for the price that I offer it. It is literally probably the cheapest price that you will find anywhere, but it is a subscription. So although it's the cheapest price, depending on how long you're subscribed, that comes into play too. Because the longer you're subscribed, the longer I will have your name written down if you are top tier on my sigil and a whole bunch of other sigils that are constantly going to be giving you power. As I evolve, you evolve. As you evolve, I evolve. Okay? But if you are no longer a top tier member, then I simply will just remove your name from that uh, sigil on the third of every month. I refresh it and then I'll just leave your name out. Okay? But regardless, the energy shift is a permanent one to your energy field. So once again, that's top tier and that will be $50 a month. Okay? With that being said, I would love to give a special shout out to the top tier members of the Patreon right now. I have all of their names in the parentheses below this Patreon link. So huge shout out to all of you, ladies and gentlemen, specifically for taking your practices to the other side. Okay. I highly appreciate that. Okay. Um, now I would like to give a second shout out to all of my Patreon members in general. I highly appreciate all of you for taking your knowledge, your studies, and your practices to that next level as well. That is always going to be highly appreciated by me, okay? Now, a third shout out to all of my YouTube subscribers. I appreciate you for being subscribed to the channel and really sucking in and absorbing this content that I'm putting out publicly. It is life transforming, okay? That's appreciated as well by me, okay? Now, that's the Patreon. Definitely check it out if you're interested. The second thing that I'd like to take your awareness to is the second link that is in my YouTube description where it says square up appointments, parentheses, book now. There, you can book your own tarot card reading with me where I can literally locate where you are on this Kabbalistic tree. So as you can see, this is the DNA strand or the DNA symbol, which means it runs through your blood, which means you do not need to be aware of how this tree functions or what this tree even is to be located somewhere on it, okay? This is human evolution right here. So me being a high level initiate and being well studied on this Kabbalistic tree, I can literally pinpoint using the tarot because the tarot is what? The tarot is the tree. It's the archetypal paths that connect the spheres. I can pinpoint using the tarot where you are on this Kabbalistic tree. And I've done over a hundred readings so far since the service has been available. Uh, and I'm not sure, I don't think this service will be available for, you know, the rest, you know, you know, forever. Let's just put it that way. I, the, get the service while you can, because I will not have this service out forever. Let's just put it that way. It'll be out for some time, but not forever. Okay. So I can locate where you are and I send it to you through WhatsApp so that you can have it permanently and you can continue to go back and study it, okay? So if you would like to book your tarot card reading with me, then definitely go to the second link below and figure out uh, where you're at on your initiatory journey in regards to your evolution, okay? I'm going to leave that there. Now, if you would like to become a YouTube member, you can check out the third link below, okay? That, will, that is where you can become a YouTube member. You're going to gain access to exclusive emojis that you can use for psychic warfare. I have an entire video that talks about it. It is called, in parentheses, YouTube members followed by psychic warfare program. And in that video, I explain exactly how that tier 
or that service works for the YouTube members and your name appears green when I do my live streams, so I will always give you a special shout out when you're in the live streams. So definitely check out the third link below and become a YouTube member if you would like to gain access to those benefits. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I highly appreciate all of you and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or night wherever you are and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.